clap of praise. Amen. I said, give my God a hand clap of praise. Amen, somebody. Amen. If God woke you up this morning, you ought to be giving him some praise. Amen. Somebody closed their eyes last night and their eyes are still closed. Amen. But God, open your eyes this morning. Amen. And you are able to see this day. What day? This day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And the Bible says that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. How many of y'all are glad this morning? Amen. Don't fool me now. I said, how many of you all are truly glad this morning? Amen. I'm glad too. I'm glad that God allowed me to be in your presence one more time. Amen. Amen. I count it a privilege and an honor. Amen. To be with my brothers and my sisters in Christ. Amen. 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 This is a privilege now. Amen. I didn't deserve this. I didn't earn this. This is all because of God. Amen. And I got enough sense. To say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We want to welcome you to Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Where we are the church that pays our debt. Amen. 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 For we know that the Bible says that you and I owe each other a debt of love. Amen. 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 And so as always, amen, I want to set a good example. And I want to be the first to pay my debt. Amen. By telling you that I love you. I said I love you. I say, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 Now, y'all do me a favor. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor that you love them. Amen. Amen. Turn to your other neighbor and tell your other neighbor that you love them too. Amen. And go on and tell them so they don't get it twisted. Tell them there's nothing they can do about it. Amen. Amen. Isn't it good? Amen. And no, you can't make me stop loving you. Amen. No matter what we do, as bad as we are sometimes, we won't make God stop loving us. Amen. You can't make love stop loving. He is love. Amen. All right. This is our youth day. Amen. And so we welcome you here as we celebrate our youth on today. Amen. We have a, a guest speaker. He's not a stranger, but he is a family member. Amen. So we'll get into all that stuff later on. Amen. But right now, amen, what we want to do is we want to introduce the youth of Pleasant Grove. And I want you all to know, amen, Pleasant Grove in particular, amen, you ought to be praising God. Amen. Amen, Pleasant Grove. Yeah. You ought to be praising God. Amen. Because it was just about this time last year, amen, that the cupboard was bare. Amen, somebody. Amen. The cupboard was bare because all of our youth had grown up and gone on out. Amen. But God opened the floodgates and he repented. Let him grow. And so we ought to say thank you. Amen. So what I want you to do as they come in, y'all show them some love. This is the youth of Pleasant Grove. Y'all come on in. Come on in, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our youth, amen. Thank you for our youth, Lord, amen. Amen. God is good. And he's good all of the time. Amen. Amen. That's not even all of them. Amen. Amen. That's not even all of them. Amen. But thank God for them. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. We thank God for our youth. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. So while we are already standing, what we're going to do is go ahead and Amen. With our call to worship. Amen. So if you are not standing, if you could, would you please stand yes, for our call to worship? Amen. If you can't, we understand. Amen. But I wouldn't dare miss an opportunity to stand on the good legs that God has given me. Amen. 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 The Bible says to owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Amen. This is Romans 13 and 8. This is our call to worship. Amen. You may be seated in the Lord. Amen. 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 Now, this is our 
Youth Day, Amen. Program. Uh, amen. So, uh, thank you for calling. Amen. So, uh, I think what the next order of service is to get our MC up here. Amen. Amen. And hold, hold on, sister. Amen. Our, our next order is to get our our mistress of ceremony for our youth day today uh, up here. And so uh, our program guide for the day is none other than uh, one of our very own youth. Amen. And so uh, Miss Darjay Williams will be our program guide for today. And so, amen. And so I want you all to come through. I want you all to give her a round of applause as she carries us. Amen. Through our program. Amen. Amen. It's in your hands, honey. Good morning, church. Good morning. We'll have our devotion by Keisha Tucker and Nolan Henry. Amen. Amen. Amen.
have the Welcome in the Cajun by Madison Brim. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Father, we thank you for all that you're about to do. Father, we thank those that had the heart to give that just, just not, did not have to give. We thank you for those that gave. Father, in your darling son, Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. Amen. for her uncle. Amen. Amen. Let's give her a hand. All right. Today guest speaker will be my uncle, Mr. James Hawkins. Amen. <laughs> Let's give her a hand clap. I guess she said he's old enough to speak for himself. So, so at this time we'll have a song from the youth choir and then we'll have uh, our guest speaker, Amen. Minister Hawkin.
children, y'all sound good, so good. So good. That sound is so good coming from Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I can just imagine when the children are actually worshiping God. The Bible says out of the mouth of babes comes the perfect and proper praise. speaker for today. Amen. Again, he is not a guest. He's not a stranger. He is a family member. Amen. He, he, he belongs to the Hawkins part of the family of Pleasant Grove. Amen. Amen. So, amen. We are glad to have him to come home. Amen. And, and fellowship with us once again. Amen. And so, uh, we're going to let, let's stand and let's sing Amazing Grace. Amen. And then the next voice we hear will be none other than Minister James Carl Hawkins. Amen.
clothes on your back. If you got a, a praise in your heart, you all know that he covered you this morning. If you know that God covered you, if you got a break, I don't need to pump and prime. You all have just said, God, God, I thank you. God, I thank you and I worthy. You worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the cold. I don't need nobody to pray. I don't want no rocks. I don't want no rocks with my name on it. I got a praise in my heart this morning. I gotta wait on praise. Who got who gotta wait on praise? Who waiting on God this morning? Who gotta wait on praise in your, in your spirit this morning? Who gotta wait on praise? Who gotta wait on God this morning? I'm waiting on him to do something for me. I'm standing here, the child said, they that wait, I'm ready to mount up like wings. I'm ready to mount up. I got a praise in my heart this morning. Y'all ought to give God some praise in this waiting on them to do something for my children. Anybody in here got some children that's messed up from the floor? If somebody got, if somebody this out waiting on God to straighten out y'all children, you ought to praise God right now. God, I'm waiting on you to touch me. God, if you just touch my children this morning. I got to praise. I don't want no rocks. All right. Not to cry for James. I don't want no rocks crying out. Thank y'all. Pastor Fitz. You always call me Carl. Carl, yeah, I just had him, sorry. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with it. Because my father in heaven called me sir. All right, all right. Sir. 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 Glory. He called me what he wants. To the officers, preachers, evangelists. God bless you. This great giant behind me, I told him earlier, I just it's a privilege to be in the same pulpit with him. Amen. Amen. I don't know you y'all know, but he was the one who started me on my way. Amen. Amen. Reverend Bond, he don't know how he had to touch me. For me to be in this pulpit with him, that's a great honor. Amen. He's a great man of God. Yes, he is. He taught me a lot. Yes. And the reason why my voice shaking because I'm nervous around him. Amen. I want to do right. All right. Because uh, I seen and I watched. I noticed, not just in the church, but in the community, how he walked up right before God. Yes, yes. A good man, his yeah, wife, yeah. a good man, a good woman. Yeah. 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 Miss Finch, I ain't gonna leave you out. Amen. 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 chapter verses, if y'all don't mind standing for the reading of God's word. I ain't gonna be long, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't gonna be long. I ain't gonna be long. Y'all got them greens on the stove. They ain't gonna burn up. I ain't gonna be long. It don't take much, ladies and gentlemen. 
to hear from God. Amen. You hear me? It don't take much. David said that he patiently waited on the Lord. And he said that the Lord turned to him. Anybody waiting on God to turn to you? Yes. Yes. David said the Lord turned to me and he heard me. He heard my cry, crying out for God. Who need God to hear them this morning? Y'all need God to hear y'all for something. Do you need God to turn yes, to you and look at your situation yeah, like he was at the um, like he was on the boat and he looked at the storm and he told the storm, Pete, y'all got something going on in y'all life that y'all need God to turn and look yes. and do something? Yes. Isaiah, Isaiah the third chapter, verses one through six, and it reads, My son, forget not my law. But let thy heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace. Y'all said peace. Peace. Said peace again. Peace. So they added to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them up. Bind them. Y'all said bind them. Bind them. About the neck and write them on the table. Y'all said table. Table. Of thine heart. So thou shalt find favor. Say favor. Favor. Who looking for favor this morning? I am. Ain't nobody looking for favor from God. I am. I'm not talking from your big brother. I'm not talking from your big sister. I'm not talking about your wife. I'm not talking about from your girls. I'm talking about, are you looking for favor and good understanding and standing in the sight of the Lord? Are you looking for something from God this morning? Yes. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways. Acknowledge who? Him. Who is to him, ladies and gentlemen? God. The God of Israel, that never sleep nor slumber, that he shall direct. Y'all said direct. Direct. Thou pass. Amen. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Amen. Like I said, I ain't gonna be for I ain't gonna be for y'all long. But the writer here, if y'all give me a few minutes to talk about him, Solomon is the writer. Solomon was the one who God came to him in a dream. Uh, he he God asked him a question. He asked him, uh, what can I give thee? And he what Solomon did, he gave his father some praise because God was good to him and God and, and David walked upright before the Lord. So Solomon gave, as he talked to God, his father, because his father walked upright yeah. before him. Yeah. Let me let me backtrack. Solomon is the writer. King David is his father. His granddaddy was Jesse. His great granddaddy was Obed. His great grand granddaddy was the one that all the women who want. They all said, they all said, I want me a boy. All most women who are Christian women want them a Boy, yeah. these great men walked upright before God. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, and Solomon saw these things, and he saw the actions of his fathers and his forefathers. And, and, and what you're saying, this is what I'm saying. Man's a press and grow. You need to walk upright before these young people so these young people know how to walk before God. Yeah. Not just in the church. They need to see you praising God on the inside of the church. They need to see you reading God's word. They need to know that you know God on the inside of God. They need to know that you got a direct path to God on the inside of the church. But they need to see you on the outside of the church doing the same thing you're doing on the inside of the church. These kids need to see a good pattern from the men's and women's Amen. of God. Amen. Walking upright. Right. 
before these young ones. Right. Solomon said, your servant, my father, uh -huh. walked upright before you. That's right. You see, yeah. I hope the men and women of this church understand what I'm saying. You got to walk. If y'all want these young kids to have a, fu a future mm -hmm. because of the fact that their age range. Now, these days, is from 13 to 20 because they're killing each other. Y'all ain't heard me. Because of the fact that they age range. They age range these days. We are burying our kids at the age of 20. We are burying our kids at the age of 15. They need to have a pattern to go by. They need a pattern to go by. This is, what they, this is what Solomon said. Solomon said, my son, uh -huh. my son, forget not my oh. instruction, my law, uh -huh. the word I'm teaching you. Yeah. And I want you to keep something with you as you go out in the streets, as you go out amongst the people. I want you to keep something in your heart. I want you to keep that. I don't want you to have no other God before me. I don't want you to rob and steal nobody. I want you to learn how to treat people yeah. right. I want to know. I want you to learn how to pray. I want you to learn how to pray my holy name. Yeah. Amen. Walk right before these babies so these babies can see who God is. Right, right. He said, 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 forget not. Ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me, let me back up. Let me back up for a few minutes. Grab his rib, don't mind Pastor Finch, if you don't mind, let me back up just a, just a few minutes because I want to let everybody know that we are some forgetful yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. This baby this morning, Little Red, sat up there and tried to remember Go because on. he forgot. Go on. Go on. You see? He was thinking. Though. He was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. But he forgot. Yeah. Even the babies. The babies forget. Yeah. Yeah. Grown folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can walk, I can be in my room in my house and I can walk to the kitchen. And I can sit there and I can just. Come on, Then I said to myself, and myself said, um, let me let me go back and start back over. Oh. Anybody, anybody like that? Yeah. No, I ain't about myself. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Solomon said, there's some things, ladies and gentlemen, we do not need to forget. Right. We need to keep some things in our heart. Uh -huh. yes. But there's some things that we need to forget. There's some places we need to forget. There's some people we need to forget. There's some words we need to forget. But Jesus told this, he told Satan, he said, this is how man should live, and this is what you need to keep with you. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth that's what you need to keep with you. That's yeah. what you need to hide in your heart. Right. Yeah. The word of God. So when you are, are growing up with the word of God, you know some of the things that the word of God, and you could heed to some of the things when you know that you have, you see the sign posted in your granddaddy's house. He said that the wages of sin is death. You see that every now and then. So you, you ask granddaddy sometime or another when you grow up, granddaddy, what that mean? When you said that the wages of sin is death. And your granddaddy would tell him, son, you got to pay for some things. You got to pay for some things. And you need to know, you need to know that in your heart, this is what you need to keep. You need to keep in your heart that God gonna pay you for every deed that you done in this body. You gotta know. You better know. Which is good. You better know. Y'all ain't hearing me. Oh, yes. Y'all ain't hearing me. Because yes, nobody got up and shouted at you. Yeah. Yeah. 
you need to tell your child. You need to instruct your child on biblical stuff, Come on, on biblical things. Yeah. Stop teaching them how to drink. Stop teaching them how to how how to smoke. Stop teaching them how to land line dance. All right, play, Teach them how to how 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 to sing in the choir. How to praise and worship God. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Some things you need to forget. But some things, him Solomon said, he said that these divine things you don't need to forget, but you need to keep. Yeah. Because if you're obedient, things gonna come. God gonna add some stuff to you. Yes, God gonna reward you in your length of days. Y'all ain't hearing me yes, because see, God, y'all yes. think God can reward you, but you sitting here this morning. God has already rewarded you. He already lit your days and he gave you peace and prosperity. Y'all ain't praised God yet. Y'all don't know what God has already done for you. God already, he ain't got up from his, his precious place and he ain't looked down. Y'all ain't understanding me. God has already been looked down, reached down, and already touched and blessed you already. You all stand up on your feet and say, God, I thank you for already touching me. I want, I want longevity in my life. I want to be, be obedient to God's word. Tell these young people you need to be obedient and watch God do some things for you. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. He said, this is, the, this is one of the things I don't want you to abandon. I want you to keep some stuff with you. I already told you to keep my commandment, but now I don't want you to let mercy and truth, uh -huh. I don't want you to abandon them. Right. Don't Perfect. abandon the things that, that's going to help you along the way. Uh -huh. I heard David say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, <laughs> I shall feel no evil. Thy rod and thy, I'm talking about mercy and truth now. Thy rod and thy staff. He said, he said, he said, bind them about. Bind them about the neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put them and write them. He said, these are some action words, y'all. Yeah. Family member, family, y'all done a great thing. But I wanted to tell y'all, this is the meat I want to tell y'all. Y'all gave me and fed me yesterday. But this is what I want you. I, this is what I want to feed you today. And not just my family, but pleasant growth. This is what I'm trying to feed you. God said this. God said, bind them about the neck. God said, write them on the day. God want us to take some actions uh -huh. in this word. Yeah. Come on here. I don't want you to go by. I don't want you to walk in this world by yourself. Because yeah. the enemy is coming to kill, steal, write them, write them, write them. Because see, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, if you need to take some notes. You need to take some notes and take them with you. You need to go and you need to you need to reflect back what God said. God, how to get out of this stone right here? I need you to sit there and wait on the Lord. And they that wait on the Lord, let me tell you, I'm going to renew your strength. I'm going. Y'all ready to mount up? I'm ready to mount up with my. Yeah. I'm ready to mount up now. He said, he said, he said, I want you to do something. I want you to take some action. Family, pleasant grow, take some action within yourself. Write some stuff down. Keep some stuff in your vision so that you may be vigilant of what thus said the Lord. Amen. He said, do these things. Mm -hmm. That thou shalt find. Y'all ain't here. Man. If I do, they will. Y'all ain't. Y'all ain't going along yeah. with me. Yes. Y'all ain't traveling this road with me this morning. What we gonna find, preacher? Look at here. He said, y'all will find favor. Favor. Not just favor, ladies and gentlemen. He said, with God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We wasn't nothing. God knew I wasn't nothing. Mm -hmm. He knew that I was bad. Yes. Mama used to whoop y'all. They know. <laughs> Mama used to whoop me every day. Yeah. But God prepared and God preserved me for this moment. Yes. To let you know that yeah, I, I, I have found favor. Y'all, yes. y'all hadn't found favor yet. Yeah. Because you don't need nobody plumping and prime you when you have found favor with God. You will shout in your heart in this moment. You, you will shout when you see mama laying down there in that castle. You were hurt when daddy had walked away. You were hurt when your children. You see? You see? And you will praise them all at the same time. You see? What he said, what he said here, he said here in, number, in, 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 in verse 2, long days and, 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 and long life and length days and peace, uh -huh. peace and prosperity will follow you all the days of your life and you can dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Y'all ain't hearing me because see Jesus went away and prepared a place for me and he said if I go away and prepare a place for you, I'm going to come. Every 
trying to find, I'm trying to find my mark here, y'all. He said, with every and with all thine heart. And <laughs> I'm trying to find you, Jesus. He said that in with all thine heart and lean not. Because my understanding have put shackles on me. Come on here. Come on. My understanding have put me in a pit. Yeah. In the depth of my pit. In the bottom of the sea. In the belly of a whale. My understanding have put me in a place where I was ready to eat the, the hog wine, the hog food. I was in the hog pen. Uh -huh. This is where my understanding, y'all ain't getting me. Because I got you, I got that was the product of son. Yeah. Yeah. And that was Jonah, the yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. disobedient, doing things the way that they want to. Yeah. Led them in a situation. Have your understanding, have your ways, put you somewhere that you don't want to be? Yes, yes, yes. Woo. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. heart. Lean, Lean not unto thy own understanding, understanding. but in all in all thy ways. In every fiber of my being. My soul. My physical. My mental. Everything about me. I want to acknowledge the one who can rescue me. I want to acknowledge the one that can redeem me. Me, I want to acknowledge the one who went out on Calvary one on. Friday, yeah, yeah. one Friday evening, yeah, yeah, yeah. mounted up himself and gave his hands to the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Mounted up himself and gave his feet to the cross. And they nailed my Jesus. Yeah, yeah. To a rugged cross at Calvary. Yes. Gave his side to the spear. They tell me before all this happened, they whooped him all night. Yes. Night long. Yeah. I heard an old woman said on the Mother's boy, he didn't say a mumbling word. He gave his head, his brow to a crown of thorns. And above his head, pastor, they tell me they've written a slogan saying, King of the Jews. He hung out there on Calvary between two thieves. Uh -huh. They tell me it was between the six uh -huh. and the ninth. Right Y'all yeah. ready to mount up with me in Pleasant yeah. Grove? Y'all yeah. yeah. ready to take wing <laughs> like an eagle? <laughs> I'm talking about my way maker, yeah. my lily of the valley. My bright and morning star, yeah. that man yeah. from Galilee, <laughs> merry little baby boy, yeah. James and Jude, older brother, yeah. that very one that walked on water, yeah. he stopped at a wedding one evening, turned water <laughs> into wine. Yeah. I'm talking about the one yeah. they said couldn't do. But he did. Yeah. That man yeah. looked at a storm one evening and said, Peace, yeah. be yeah. still. Yeah. That man yeah. from Galilee hung out there. 
Y'all like, yeah, yeah, this is what he did. He looked to the heaven, and the heaven blacked out. The father turned his back. Jesus cried. La he la Lama Sabantane. My God, my God. Why has thou forsaken me? Y'all, he died. Then he died. Y'all, he died. Out there on Calvary. Y'all, he died. For you. And he died. For me. Y'all ought to praise God. This evening. Because he did what he did. He was my substitute. I hear John said, here come the Lamb of God to shed his precious blood for the remission of sin. I hear Jesus said, into thine hand I commence my spirit. Lay his head. Then he laid his head, y'all. Y'all, then he laid his head. He laid his head. I'm trying to quit now. But he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder. Gave up the gold. He died. But died one all. Died one all. They tell me three days later, y'all made me. Three days later, it was early. Y'all said early. Early Sunday morning, did he get up? God raised his son from the dead. Kim Eldell took his steam. Victory, y'all and me. Victory over the grave. Stepped out, y'all, on Resurrection Boulevard. And he said, all power, all power, all power is in my hand. My lily of the valley, my bright and morning star, my wheel, in the middle of a wheel, my breeze. Y'all ain't hear me. He been a breeze. My friends troubled my water. My church members troubled my water. Work members troubled my water. I want y'all to know this is for me. God been a breeze over my troubled waters.
too many of us are walking in the wrong ways. Therefore, we cannot walk upright before God. We're more concerned with walking upright before our co-workers. We're concerned about walking upright before our homeboys. But we're not concerned about walking upright before Christ. We must walk upright before Christ. And so there may be someone here today who's not walking upright. You're trying to walk, but your walk is just not upright. But let me introduce you to a man who will help you walk upright. He'll give you everything you need so that you can walk upright. Because his desire is that you not be lost. But his desire is that you be saved. And so right now, we want to open the doors of the church. And we want you to know you can come by letter. You can come by Christian experience. Or you can come as a candidate for baptism. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Jesus is on his way back. And he's coming back looking for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. If you got a wrinkle in your garment, you take it to the cleaner. But I want you to know if you got a wrinkle in your soul, the cleaner can't straighten that out. Only Jesus can straighten out your wrinkles. So we invite you right now. You can come. Come right now. Come by level Christian experience. Boys of candidate for baptism. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. For you don't know what the next hour will be. Why put off for tomorrow? into the family. We're not a perfect family. We don't always get along. We have our disagreements. But we have a father who knows how to put us back in order. Amen? Amen. Will it be one? Yeah. Uh, can you bring the chair, please? 